Guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. So this is not a review per se. It is my first impressions of a company that I kind of have tried, but I kind of really haven't. Um, this is actually a giveaway that I kind of won and I kind of didn't win. Um, Christmas in July with Beer Times with Scott. Um, he's one of the, if you don't know who uh, Scott is, he's uh, literally one of the OGs of the beer review game. Um, you got George, I can't remember his name, he's an older gentleman with gray beard. He's the OG of the OGs, um, as far as men's grooming in my opinion. And then you've got Scuba, Dan, Scott, um, there's a couple others that are kind of the forefathers, I guess we could call them if you want to go that far with it. Anyway, Scott seems to be a really, really good guy. I've spoke to him a couple times here and there, not much. Um, but he did a Christmas in July, and a really good friend of mine, Jamie from Ginger Beards, won one of the uh, giveaways, and he paid it forward and gave it to me. Um, the company that I won, I was kind of glad I won it because, again, I hadn't really ever tried their stuff before. Um, like I've mentioned to uh, quite a few of you before, me and Jamie from Ginger Beards uh, trade stuff all the time just to, you know, hey, have you tried this company? Hey, have you tried this company kind of thing? And he sent me some um, damn Yankee, but it was a scent I did not like. It was a cedar wood tobacco vanilla. Um, it just wasn't my thing. I think that's the right profile. But uh, the cedar was just too, too forward for my taste, you know what I mean? But the oil itself was pretty good. Um, again, I don't know how old it was. It could have been two years old, you know what I mean? Which does change the performance and everything of things. But anyways, so what we're going to talk about today is Damn Yankee Beard Company. Um, on the back, thanks, Andrew. And I'm going to guess that is the owner's signature, Pete. I believe that's his name. I got a couple cool stickers. We got the... Damn Yankee Beer Company Natural AF. And then my favorite sticker possibly so far of 2020, and I mean that with all my heart. <laughs> Pete, you need to make this on a shirt, brother. This is freaking awesome. Um, this is going on the top of my, um, one of my mirrors uh, for sure. Okay, so. This giveaway was a really, really nice one. Um, it was a whole lot of stuff, which is kind of unusual for a giveaway. Most companies do a combo or maybe a shirt and an oil or something like that. But this one's quite a bit more. What I got is the Port Isabel scent, and these labels are beautiful. And it's wrapped all the way around, but still leaves my little viewing window that I've mentioned I love so much. That way you can kind of just, you know, visually see how much oil's left. The ingredients on the oil, and it's gonna take me kind of a second because it has the technical name, scientific name, and then in parentheses, what we call it, I guess you would say. Uh, first one is jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, uh, coconut oil, broccoli seed oil, and then essential oil blends. Um, Again, this is just going to be a first impressions. I am going to do a review on this company once I get done testing my other company and all that jazz. Um, the scent profile on this is, I believe it's orange and black pepper. Um, a lot of people don't like black pepper. A lot of people don't like citrus scents because they don't last as long and it's essential. So I really don't last as long. I prefer a six hour and up scent, but there are some that I like for nighttime or on the weekends when I don't want to be walking around my house smelling like a, you know, smelling like I just put on some deodorant or, you know, cologne or whatever. Um, I think the lighter scents do have a place in the beard world, I guess you could say. Um, but as you can see, these are a yellowish, clearish. In the bottle, it's a little more yellow than it is in the dropper. Um, I'm going to call this a, let me test this here. I'd give it about a medium weight, maybe a smidge on the light side. Um, but the scent out of the bottle is, you get that pepper, but it's, it's not burn your nose kind of pepper, you know, pepper. It's just, a the essence of the black pepper with that orange. And it's actually really nice. I was, I was honestly surprised. 
Um, I was super happy. I mean, obviously, it's a giveaway. Any giveaway is awesome. I was kind of hoping it was a different scent, but again, super happy I got this one because I ended up, I like it. Um, it's It opens up in beard to a di whole different thing. Um, the orange kind of brightens up a whole lot. The pepper kind of mellows off. And then once the orange starts wearing off, the pepper comes in and it's a real, I mean, I'm a big pepper fan, so I like it, uh, but it's a real nice mixture. He mixed it really well. Uh, so far, I mean, first use, the filling beard on the first use, again, I say, um, nice and soft, uh, no issues, no problems. I also got a 1.88 ounce, 53 grams of uh, the Port Isabel butter. Love these little small containers. Um, this is about the size I'm thinking of going with, you know, nice compact, not those, you know, bigger two ounce ones, but these are nice. Um, the ingredients on the, um, on the butter are shea butter, jojoba oil, coconut oil, um, sweet almond oil, and then there's one of them that doesn't have the parentheses, which is no biggie. I believe it's Arginia spinosia kernel oil, which I believe is argan oil, uh, and then broccoli, broccoli seed oil, fragrance, and or essential blend. Um, this is a really nice, as you can see, I've already dipped into it, rubbed some in my hands, but this is a, a f little on the firm side, but it's still real smooth at the same time. I mean, you you can push right through it, no problem. But it's got the, got a little bit of a firmness to it, um, but it's a really l nice light butter once you get it in beard. I did add just a tiny bit of it, just because I wanted to see if the scent was any different than the oil, and it's almost the same. Then I got, which I'm a little confused on this. I'm, I'm going to assume this is not a normal size balm with this combo, or I don't know. I don't care. Um, but again, the label is a little bit different on this one. And I'm going to guess this is a one ounce balm, maybe. But you got your nice tin lid. Uh, there are no ingredients on it, so I can't tell you what it is. But I do have the balm and beard. Um, it is a good solid, solid medium uh, hold uh, balm. Really nice, really nice and smooth. It's got that nice white color. Really, really liking this uh, balm. Um, a really, really awesome thing about having a shorter beard is I get to explore something I didn't before. Uh, I went from oils only to oil and butter just instantly. I never really messed with the balms all that much. And any balms I did mess with, they were more of a nourishing balm like Arteus Man or um, Beard Octane. Sorry, let me hit that little button. Um, but yeah, really liking this balm. And that's something I'm definitely going to be making videos about in the future are a lot more balms uh, for people with shorter beards and for people that just don't know that much about balms. Um, and then also got a four ounce, and I love these labels. I'm telling you guys, these are phenomenal. I know my camera doesn't show it the way it should. But these are just beautiful bottles. Sorry for the dirty nails. I've had I've had a bad day. Um, but nice silvery top on it. Of course, your little squeeze bottle. I haven't used this yet. But uh, the, it smells like the citrus might be a hair stronger in it, which it could be different once I put it, you know, use it. But this is a, a beard conditioner. Um, ingredients on it are... Water, aloe vera juice, shea butter, BTMS. I don't know. I don't know if it's 25 or 50, but it is one of the BTMSs. Uh, I'm gonna guess 25. Um, avocado oil, wheat germ oil, silver dihydrid, silver dihydrogen citrate, um, citric acid, essential, and a fragrance oil blend. Um, again, really nice packaging. Really liking that. And then there was one more thing. And it's something I have not seen in the beard game yet. And I'm going to give it a shake and I'm going to see if you can hear it. What could that be that's beard related? It's not, but it is. Uh, apparently Pete, I don't know if he's doing this with all of his summer scents or his new, newer line or whatever you want to call it. But check that out. Port Isabel seasoning, right? I'm actually really, really liking this. Um, let me see if I can find it. I took the cap off, the seal or whatever. 
This shit is good, guys. Um, I'm actually going to DM Pete here in a little bit to see if he's doing this in some of his other scents. Because if he is, Daddy going to want to buy some more because this is really, really good. Again, it's orange and pepper. Uh, ingredients, salt, spices, um, you know, onion, garlic, blah, 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 blah. Uh, says great with chicken, beef, fish, unique blend of black pepper, orange and oranges and spices. Um, yeah, but I mean, I don't know if this is his recipe of seasoning and, you know, I mean, another company's making it or if he's make, I don't know the whole deal on it, but I'm very, very interested in this. Um, I know it's, almost weird to the extent of people may not may not like it or something i really really like it pete keep doing what you're doing man um again i haven't used this this stuff may not work for me but so far anything that i have in my beard so far i'm liking i really am um but this is like a this was something really special to me I, uh, it tastes really really good it's got a little bit of a I wouldn't say spice, but that black pepper, you know, that fresh black pepper kind of gives you that little bit of a burn on your tongue. And I love that. I love spicy food. And then that nice citrusy flavor comes through. I'm going to put, I, I want this on some fish or some uh, baked, baked or grilled chicken. That's going to be really good. I'm going to do that this weekend. But um, yeah, guys, I don't know any of the prices again. I am going to do some research. I'm going to use this for a little bit. Um, it'll be a week or so before I get to start really, really testing it and using it and then being able to do the review. But I did want to do a huge uh, shout out and thank you to Jamie. Uh, also, Scott. Thank you, brother. And then uh, also glad you're back. Um, I, I mean, again, I used to watch your videos many, 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 many months ago, a uh, year plus ago. Um I always thought you seemed to be a, a pretty good guy for the most part. I mean, I didn't know you, so I can't say much more. Um, and then uh, also the biggest shout out to Pete. I appreciate it, brother. Um, hope to do some communication here pretty soon. Uh, learn a little bit about you. And if you want, you can learn about me also. But I am excited to get to finally use some damn Yankee products and say what I think of it and let you guys know as well. Besides that, guys, always keep your head up and I'll catch you guys later. Much love.